Every year, the Feast of St. Paul of the Cross invites us to remember how we came here and to find within our story our unfolding present. We have always shared in Paul's tension between being drawn to the mountain and being invited out to the sea, the balance of contemplation of the passion and companionship with the crucified. For Paul, the mountain was Monte Argentario. In 1737, he opened the first house of the congregation. In 1741, Pope Benedict XIV approved the rule with a rescript, and again in 1746 with a pontifical brief. In 1769, Clement XIV, who had a great affection for Paul, endorsed the Institute. Finally, in the 1775 papal bull, Pope Clement XIV affirmed Paul of the Cross's dream of gathering companions who, in the words of the bull, are, quote, committed to the preaching of the passion of Christ by the example of a contemplative life, proclamation of the word of salvation in missions, retreats, and in other manners comfortable to the rule. Trusting that the same congregation will progress and bear fruits of holiness in the people, preserve fervor of spirit, imprint in the minds of all the memory of the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ, we confirm this pious congregation and its rule." End quote. In a letter to Father Erasmus Tucinardi, Paul of the Cross wrote, The ship is at sea without sails and without oars, but it is steered by the great pilot, who will absolutely bring it into port safely. The ship is battered by storms and winds, but this only makes the power and wisdom of the great pilot, Jesus Christ, shine forth. May Jesus Christ live forever, for he gives us the strength to suffer every hardship for love of him. <laughs>